Classic black coffee in bed. So we'll start with the rhythm guitar part. I'm playing on the intro. A simple riff, three notes, A, B, and D, five, seven, and five on the E and A strings. So it's hammer, five to seven, and then five on A. And the quick boom, five to seven. So boom. Back to five. Then A, B, D, D. Okay, just keeping that going. All through the intro. And then when the first starts, I'm playing a D to B minus seven. So that's two on A, four, two, three, two. Then a G over D. Okay, just a G5. So just D, G, D, G. So open, open on D and G. Three, three. Back to D. So. Back to the riff. And just keeping that going round the whole verse. Okay, so just...
the chorus, we've got some great chords. I'm starting on a B minor, just on the top four strings. That's nine, seven, seven, seven. Then an F sharp over A sharp. So I've got eight, six, seven, six. And moving it down to C sharp minor. Okay, then I'm going to A7, so just five, six, five, five. Then a D over F sharp, so four, two, three, two. Again, top four strings. Then we've got a G, so just, just again, five, four, three, three, top four strings. And uh, there's a bass guitar playing an F at that point. So we've got, got that over F. And then we've got... Okay, I'm playing a, an A sus4, so 2, 2, and 3. Open A, 2, 2, 3. Just a, a standard A. B string open, back to an A. Okay, back into your verse. For the chords on the guitar solo, we've got a key change. We're coming out of... In D, going to E flat. So we've got, got F over E flat. So I'm playing 11 on the E string and then 10, 10 and 10 on the D, G and B strings. Okay. And then we've got an E minor 7 to A. And then we go straight into the second part of the chorus. So you hit that D over F sharp chord. Okay. And once you've learned that, you've got the basic uh, verse, chorus, guitar solo, etc. And so now we'll take a look at the lead parts. On the intro, I'm playing a D to F sharp to A. So 7, 9, 7 on A and D, then A, B, D, so 7, hammer to 9, 7, then I'm just sliding to F sharp and A on 11 and 10, E and G on 9 and 8, then D and F sharp on 7 and 7. Then A, B, D, and then back to F sharp and A. So 7, 9, 7 on D and G. Back to 11 and 10. And then... So here I've got... So I'm playing D, E. So 7, 9, and then... 11 and 10, back to E and G on 9 and 8, then D and F sharp, and then, so 7 and 7, and then the pull off from 9 to 7 on D, then I'm playing just A, D, F sharp, A. So 10, 10, 11, 10. On B to E, G to B. And a slide. F sharp to D. 11 to 7. And then a quick little pull off from B to A. Okay, so that's the intro. For the guitar solo, I'm starting similar to the intro with a few extra notes. So I've got... So I'm starting the A, B, D. Then, like the intro, E, F sharp, A. So I'm playing 5, 7, 5 
on the E and A strings. And then 7, 9 on A. S little slide there. So, to A on 7 on the D string. Then B, A, D. Okay. 7, 9, 7. Then do the slide from 11. Okay, 11, 9, 7. F sharp E D. So you got you got Then we're changing key, so we've got hit that E flat there on eight on the G string. And then we've got outlining the chords tones of E flat major. So we've got E flat, G and B flat. So we're going from 8, 12, 11. Okay. Then jumping up to the E string. To a G. F, G, F, G, F, and E flat. So G, F, E flat. So slide to 15. And then 13, 11. And again. Then a little, a little trill. D flat D. And then C. So 10, 11, 10. 8, 6. Okay. Then that's when we're hitting the F chord. So we're hitting the a chord tone again. And a lot of this is about going from chord tones. So you've got a to C to F to E flat to the F7, you know, the seventh note of F7. So it's kind of very jazzy in its influence. So, so we're hitting that F on, uh, A over the F chord on five. Then a little chromaticism here. We've got a, B flat, B, C. So just five, five, six, seven, eight. And then a little bit of chromaticism. F, E, E flat. Okay, so you've got six, five, four. Um, and then. Then. Then F again, six, little slide, seven, back to F, so F, D, F, six, seven, six with that slide, get the slide, again, chromatic down to chord tone, D, D flat, C, and then a classic little C, A flat to A. So playing one, one, hammer to two, and then three to one. So, got, then, okay, we're changing key now, and we're going, we've got an E minor seven chord, so we're actually playing the E Dorian mode here. So we've got G, A, B, C sharp, D, five, seven, four, six, seven, starting on the D string. Carrying up, E, F sharp, G, nine, 11, 12, all the way up to B. 12, 14, and 12, of the B string, and then, okay, we're now hitting this A chord, so we've got these A chord tones, C sharps, E, and A, and the seventh note, G, so I've got, so I'll play, slide into C sharp on 14, E on 12, 
Then chromatically down, A, G sharp, G, 14, 13, 12. Hit that A again on 14. And then, then we've got, just playing B, A, G, F sharp, D. So jumping up all the way to 19 on the E string. We'll slide, 17, 15, slide to 14. Then a, a D on 15 on the B string. Okay. Then we've got a little, just going chromatically down. A, G sharp, G, 14, 13, 12. And then ending the solo with, we're hitting that D, so we're just on the D chord. So I'm sliding from 14, 16, E to F sharp, A, and D. So again, hitting those chord tones. So very well constructed solo where it follows the chords. Okay, so we've got 14, 16, 14, 15 to finish. Great solo. Okay, so next we'll take a look at the bass part. On the intro and verses, I'm playing this simple three note riff. So it's A, hammer to B, five to seven on the E string. Two D's on five on the A string. Back to B on seven, back to A on five. And then back up, A, B, D, D. Okay, so just keep that going. And then in the chorus, I'm playing a B. And then I'm going, so I'm playing seven. Then C sharp, B, A. And that A's kind of just leading to that B flat. So we're flattening that B. So, so it's seven, nine, seven, five. Okay, and then, I mean, we think of it A sharp or B flat, but it's on six. Then I'm going, I call it A sharp because it seems to be fit with the keyboard. I've got six, seven, six, four. Then lead you to a C sharp. So I'm playing A sharp, B, A sharp, G sharp, and C sharp. So we've got first. C sharp on four on the A string. Then I've got B, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, then hitting a G. So, so I've got C sharp, then two, four, two, then five, four, then you hit that G for the next chord. So, So we've got a G there, and then little fill, F sharp, G. So two, uh, two and three. Five, three, open. So, bam. F sharp on two. So F natural, so we're playing Two, two, three, two, open. One. Then open, one, three, uh, da, da, one. So E, F, G, F, E. And then, so you've got an open E. An A. Okay, and then back into the verse. So 
So going from open E to five, little G in between if you want, on three. Okay, and that's your basically your verse, chorus, and intros, and then just on the guitar solo. We... And then we got playing an E flat. So we change key for the solo. So six, and then just a little fill, a little chromatic, four, five, six, D flat, D, E flat. And then it changes chord, but it stays on the E flat. So you've got F over E flat. And just move it up one fret for the E minor. And then we've got, move it up a string. Five, six, seven, G, G sharp, A. For the next chord, and then. Shift that A to a G to finish the solo and then coming out of the solo we go back straight into the second half of the chorus so that F sharp into that section okay and then it's just a case of um, you once you know the kind of solo verse and chorus you're away so great song and thanks for watching buddies cheers <laughs>